we didn't have this issue of transgender. And uh, at the police station level, uh, we have a gender desk. But uh, it's now for them to come out, uh, now that we have uh, had a, a discussion with them, we are telling them to come out when they report at the station, let somebody declare that he's a transgender so that he can be handled uh, as a transgender because an officer would not be able to identify this person. So they should not fear. They should come out and tell them uh, because this, uh, officers have been now enlightened on this issue. Uh, and we assure them that they will be handled properly at the police station once somebody declares that he's a transgender. My name is Sean Yodero. I represent the National Transgender Advocacy Network of Kenya and you are here today in Migori to have engagement with law enforcement officers around how then can they you know, engage with the transgender community in a manner that is more humane, in a manner that is more dignified, and in a manner that also allows them to understand the struggles and challenges that transgender people experience generally in Kenya. And I think we are here building up on a case that happened like around a month ago, but also just following up with law enforcement to ensuring how then does also law enforcement officers provide protection, equality under the law, and ensure that also transgender persons as Kenyan citizens also enjoy equal rights as equal citizens. And that's why basically we're here today. So one of the things that we're also advocating a lot is that having gender desk stations within police stations provide a good opportunity for trans persons across the country to be able to talk about their issues in an environment that is free from stigma, discrimination and violence. Because most often some of the things that we see happening is that um, our personal prejudices and biases sometimes um, come into play, especially in terms of hindering access to justice. So police desks, I think, will actually become a very, very important entry point for ensuring that trans people are able to talk about their challenges and their experiences in an environment that's actually free from discrimination. We have been here for three days uh, in what is termed as capacity building for the police officers, civil society leaders, and more specifically, the transgender issue is what we were discussing. Uh, it has come out clearly that uh, the transgender issue is a challenge to both the civil society and the police officers. So we have agreed that uh, we shall continue to do capacity building to police officers, community sensitization, so that the community can also be aware of some of these issues as challenges. Then these people, they should also come out clearly uh, without being hiding when they come out clearly we will be able to support them. So